Pakistan, known as a breeding ground for terrorists, has once again lived up to its name when its top court allowed the Hafiz Saeed-led Jamaat Dawa to do charity work. Newsweek South Asia takes a look. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has allowed 2611 Mumbai terror attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed's Jamaat Dawa or the JUD and its so-called humanitarian arm Falahi Insaniyat Foundation or FIF to continue their relief and charity operations in the country. The verdict was issued by a two-member bench, which includes Justice Manzoor Ahmed and Justice Sardar Tariq Masood. The Apex Court in its verdict rejected the federal government's appeal against the Lahore High Court's interim order of April 5th. The High Court had restrained the government from interfering with social welfare organizations of Syed and also allowed legal activities of JUD and FIF. The way the things have been fanning out, we all have been thinking about that at least the judicial system within the Pakistan is a very strong one because they have taken a lot of uh, uh, strong and uh, strong steps to in a, in a way hold Pakistani uh, governments as well as their people and work for their prosperity. But unfortunately, uh, the judgment that came few days back where it has been said that the charity organization being run by Hafiz Saeed is a proper one and it can continue its operation, which actually Pakistani government had banned. So it's, it's, it's really a tragedy sort of a thing because uh, Hafiz Saeed, who's an internationally acclaimed terrorist, and uh, who is a sympathizer of militant organizations and who has been promoting them. And his charity organization somehow has been supporting all these things, getting funding for these uh, militant organizations and working, uh, working for their development. That's a, that's a very negative aspect. And this, in a way, gives a free leeway to his charity organization to get more funds and channelize more funds towards uh, militant activities, which is going to have a very serious repercussions within the Indian subcontinent. It is a known fact that the JUD and the FIF underneath the cover of charity train terrorists who carry out attacks on neighbours, India and Afghanistan. Earlier in an eyewash process, the Pakistan government had banned companies and individuals from making donations to JUD, FIF and other organisations on the UN Security Council sanctions list. The UNSC sanctions list includes the names of terror organizations such as Al-Qaeda, Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan, Lashkar-e Jhangvi, JUD, FIF, Lashkar-e Taiba and other organizations and individuals. Pakistani governments also have had, uh, in a way, a double role. Uh, some, somewhere they try to uh, corner the militant organizations by trying to close down their funding but they, then they give them a second opportunity through which they are trying to help them in their political motives and they are trying to help them grow in their political motives. So Pakistani governments have also, successive governments have also been double playing uh, the game. So in through one hand they try to squeeze out these militant organizations but through other hand they try to give them a leeway. Same has been with the uh, Hafiz Saeed's uh, charity organization as well as his political outfits. The judgment is a proof to the fact that, like the Pakistan government, its army and intelligence agency, which is the ISI, the judiciary is also backing radical terror organizations, which does make Pakistan a safe haven for terror outfits. Terrorists are funded and supported by the legislative, executive and judiciary of Pakistan, for which more terror groups are coming to the forefront every day. Hafiz Muhammad Said, the mastermind of the Mumbai terror attack in 2008, which killed 166 people and injuring 308 others, continues to be a free man and also someone who contested the recently concluded Pakistan general elections in July this year. International community has been talking about it. India has been talking about it at various forums. It has been it is being discussed, and a lot of lot of proof has been presented, which talks about the fact, or which which speaks volumes about the fact that how Pakistan or uh, the Pakistani soil is being used for supporting militant organizations. In fact, Pakistan is branded as a safe haven for militant organizations or terrorist organizations. Why such a thing? If Pakistani government is not involved, if Pakistani army is not involved, then why don't they take? positive steps? Why don't they take such strong steps which in a, in a, in a way stop these militant organizations from growing, these terrorist organizations from go, growing and they stop them. Said was designated as a terrorist by the United States back in 2012 and has a bounty of $10 million on his head. On the other hand, his organization, the Lashkar-e Toiba, was declared a terror outfit back in 2014. The fact that such people still roam freely in Pakistan actually shows how much the Pakistan administration is keen on countering terror.